Hey there folks, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving deep into the dark and twisted world of Hellboy Web of Weird. Brace yourselves as we unleash hell in this brutal review. In Hellboy Web of Word, Lance Reddick delivers a standout performance, channeling the brooding essence of Hellboy. The actor's deeply resonant voice guides players into the mysterious realm of the Word, an enigmatic dimension that unfolds from the Butterfly House's twisted corridors. Hellboy's dialogue, concise and impactful, communicates with both monsters and BPRD colleagues alike. It's regrettable that this collaboration, dripping with potential, stands alone instead of leading to more adventures. The game's roguelike mechanics shape its core experience, a decision by the developer, Upstream Arcade. While there are moments when the combat's weight and the game's enchanting visuals meld seamlessly, these instances are inconsistent. Often, Web of Word feels like a budding idea, yearning for more refinement and development. Produced in association with Dark Horse, Web of Word serves as an emphatic nod to the original comics. Upstream Arcade transcends merely animating comic scenes. They thrust players into the unfolding drama between these scenes. Journeying through the Word with its diverse dimensions inspired by global folklore is reminiscent of stepping onto an artist's canvas ensnared within the iconic dark strokes and fine details synonymous with Mike Mignola, Hellboy's creator. The game's aesthetic is nothing short of spectacular, with its surreal shadow play and vivid color contrasts. Upstream Arcade deserves applause for converting Mignola's distinct style into a harmonious 3D world. The narrative and its characters seamlessly integrate into the Hellboy cosmos, allowing fans to assume the role of a proactive BPRD agent, combating a medley of supernatural adversaries in a grand narrative. However, the gaming experience becomes more nuanced when focusing beyond the visual mastery. Rooted in roguelike elements, players frequent the Butterfly House, gearing up Hellboy for adventures in the randomly crafted realms of the Ward. The gameplay faces two primary hurdles, the lack of sufficient challenge within its structure and the limited diversity in its randomly generated levels, making repeated explorations feel tedious. The gameplay can sometimes stagnate, with Reddick's charismatic portrayal and the stellar graphics acting as the primary driving forces. The restricted combat dynamics and repetitive adversaries contribute to this monotony. However, certain elements shine, like the weighty feel of Hellboy's movements and his iconic stone hand, which, coupled with various firearms, forms a formidable arsenal. Combat is strategic, mirroring the brawls Hellboy often finds himself in. Minor foes mainly serve to replenish the player's protective toughness meter, which shields health during encounters with mightier adversaries. Interestingly, most skirmishes outside boss fights are somewhat predictable, generally involving a set pattern of shoot, approach, and melee combo. The game also introduces basic defense mechanisms, but their execution is often more frustrating than helpful, especially given Hellboy's innate ability to overpower most enemies. Hellboy Web of Wired boasts immense potential, but struggles in its realization. Greater diversity in its random level creation could offer a sensation of wandering through mystic, interconnected mazes, complementing Hellboy's deliberate exploration style. Moreover, individual tales converging towards a larger narrative would be more engaging if there were more unique encounters and adversaries. The game possesses elements of brilliance, with some fine-tuning and added diversions, it could genuinely embody its ambitious vision. Thanks for watching our review. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more epic game reviews. Until next time, happy gaming.